But wasn't it scary, uh, well, let's say the first year without a band, you in the studio alone? No, and you know what, in the studio it never feels wrong for me. Uh, when I went to the studio back uh, and slowly got the connection to my music, I really felt like now, now the galaxy is open and now I really can dive everywhere I want to. I really can uh, lose myself in the world of tones and in the world of pictures and it was wonderful. It was really, it felt so right and uh, yeah, this was my personal success, you know, <laughs> be, okay. be in a studio and being able to, yeah, to open those little worlds. Yeah, yeah obviously it sounds very different from whatever, whatever you did before. But can you name um, well, a song that was for you personally really a breakthrough for, wow, this is something that I could never done before? Oh, a lot of songs. <clears throat> um, Mi Casanova, for example, is a song which is really raw and dark and also sexy somehow. And I guess uh, this wouldn't be a song you, you um, would find on, on an Epps album, for example. I mean, we also try different things out always in a band. But uh, now I can really um, show different parts of my of myself, not only one part, because I know I know this this uh, hard male part I have in me. I know it very good, very well, and I love also to 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 do it and to live it. But there are some other parts who really also need to breathe, you know, and to grow. And so, for example, Mi Casanova is one of those songs. Yeah, there was one thing uh, I, I I thought when I heard it. I th I thought, hey, it, it sounds much more, well, just feminine, mm -hmm. you know? Then, uh, is that something you couldn't do with Quano A? It's, yeah, it's hard to explain. I mean, I, I never, I'm not in good in those questions, you know, what have been when you do this or that, I, I don't know, but I just know that I never felt, I never felt like this when I was with a band. So, because, I mean, you're, you're surrounded by very male-dominated test testosterone males <laughs> you know this is, this is cool this is funny for me also and uh, shows a part and was a kind of a expression for me and a little revolution for me also but now I'm looking uh, for more things you know there are more things to to uh, achieve and uh, there are more little revolutions to fight for for example, make every kind of music. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just, I really just follow my um, instinct. Follow your instinct. Okay, that's always a good. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Good advice. Yeah. yeah, because for instance, there's also a lot of electronic sounds on the album, and you also also work with uh, Traumschmier. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Is that that was also something totally new for you? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, when you're in Berlin, you're, you're surrounded by so many um, electro parties, DJs, whatever, musicians, and there are so many, um, I don't know, creative people there that, of course, a city like that always inspires you. And, um, you know, I'm not always in the same surrounding. I'm, there's everything. And, of course, it inspired me. <clears throat> but I wanted, when I was in a studio, I had all these instruments there. I had a little core keyboard, for example, or I had a instruments, bass, guitar, whatever, and I used them, you know? I just used them, and when I felt good in, this, in these tones, for example, when I played uh, the keyboard for the signal or something like that, it felt good, and I composed it, and this is it, you know? I, I really just write songs out of my stomach. Yeah, okay. And I'm not scared, not scared to use any kind of instrument. 